and definitely a passionate person as well. He will be having his response to Dr. Sahab's speech. Dr. Tariq Shah. तैयार रहिए कि इसके बाद जो बातें होनी हैं। Assalamu alaikum. Thank you, Kazim Bai, for asking me to come and say a few words where you have gathered it for such a noble cause. First of all, first of all, I would like to congratulate Dr. Shahriyar for taking up this noble mission. That's really a great honor. Thank you, Sam, for being the ambassador, and Dr. Mughala, also the Board of Governors. Uh, I happen to be a cardiologist, and so my passion is treating heart disease. But um, Reema and myself, we, uh, she could not come today because of another engagement, although she very much wanted to come. But we take these causes to our heart. And heart disease, no doubt, is the number one. Uh, he said to response, that the only response I have is heart disease is still the number one cause of death throughout the United States and throughout the world. But cancer is the number two leading cause of death, not only in the United States, but all over the world. And in terms of heart disease, we have made a lot of advancements. And we have come to where heart disease, heart attack, and heart failure is curable. And Dr. Shahriyar is right that in few years, cancer would be the much more menace and would be the leading cause of death in the world. So we all have to work for that. Um, I don't know if many of you may know this. Um, Reema has been the ambassador for breast cancer awareness in Pakistan, and she goes to various colleges, schools, and various places to teach them about prevention of breast cancer and treatment of breast cancer. Although I am a cardiologist for the last 20 years, I participate in the race for the cure, which many of you may know in Washington D.C. If you are here, there is the race for breast cancer awareness by the Komen C Foundation. It's the big foundation for the breast cancer, and I've been running that fight here for 20 years to raise funds for that organization. So it is very good to see that in Pakistan, and I think so, you already answered, many of you had questions about uh, Shadrach Khanum Hospital being there, and we have worked for them too. But the need in Pakistan is so much that not only one, two, three, there is, we need 10, 20 cancer hospitals in Pakistan. And all of them will sustain, he's right, you people and people in Pakistan are very, uh, I, I would, should say, they're very caring and they like to support these projects. There is a hospital in, uh, and there are many other hospitals. There's one hospital in Karachi in this hospital. It's also free of cost and there are many other hospitals in Pakistan that are running free of cost. We don't know what the government may do or not do, but we have to try to build up and sustain and help our own people. For those of us who are here and who are privileged to enjoy the luxuries of the life, we should look back and we should give back to the country from where we came. And this is what drives me and this is what drives my wife and we all try to work so we can do for so many projects. And Dr. Shahriyar has already presented the data and the need and I think so, um, I am fully supportive of this project and uh, I would raise this uh, awareness among other people and also with our association, the Association of uh, Physicians of Pakistan and we will try to support you and your project and individually and I will talk to my friends and I will ask you also to help and uh, support this project. Again, congratulations to you and your team and thank you very much for inviting me.